So let's say you're out at the bars or clubs or whatever, and you're trying to decide whether a girl wants to be approached or not. <laughs> okay. Some of these signs are gonna really help you. However, I wouldn't look for all the signs. If you get one of these signs, it's more than enough. Um, even if you get none of these signs, it still might be enough. I've had success where there, it looked like there was no signs where the girl wanted to be approached, but I walked up and talked to her and it went really well and I ended up taking her home. So you don't have to look for all of these, but the more you go out, the more you're gonna to start to notice these types of things and the better you're gonna be the better you're gonna be at approaching because you're gonna know what to look for. All right, having said that, let's get right into it. The first one is she's looking around. If you see a girl kind of like looking around, seeing who's there, checking out the different people, um, this is a girl who's like either looking for someone or wants someone to come up and talk to her. I notice this a lot more when I go out. I wasn't very good at it when I first started going out, um, but now I the girls that are kind of like looking around, checking people out, those are the types of girls that you want to go up and talk to. If a girl is checking out you where she's kind of doing that like glancing over thing where she's like, you know, or maybe sheepishly, sheepishly smiling afterwards, dude, you got to go up and talk to her. I mean, like there's no better sign that you're gonna get than a girl checking you out. And again, you're gonna get better at seeing these the more you go out. I, when I first went out, I didn't notice any girls checking me out at all. But now when I go out, I'll usually see like maybe like one or two when I walk into a bar that will maybe give me a quick glance because women are pretty subtle about this. They're not gonna be too overt. Um, but most of the time, I, I'll usually just see kind of girls like looking around. I won't get that many girls checking me out. Not enough for me to like, if I only walked up and approached the girls that checked me out, um, I would probably almost never get laid. <laughs> The second is proximity. Now, women aren't gonna be as overt as men. They're not gonna walk up and tell you you're cute. They're not gonna go up and talk to you. Usually, what they're gonna do is they're gonna kinda come near you. They're gonna make it easier. They're gonna kind of present themselves a little bit more so you get them to notice them. Uh, they're gonna do those types of things to make it easier for the guy to come up and talk to them, to give them the opportunity. So if a woman, if you're just kinda in your group with your friends and a girl kinda comes up close, maybe orders a drink at the bar or something like that, or she just kinda comes up and starts talking near you, or whatever it is, go up and talk to her, man. There's probably a reason why she came up close to you. Now, it's not a hard and fast, like every single time a girl comes near you, she wants to sleep with you. Um, but a lot of, a lot more of the women than you think that are coming up nearby you um, are actually interested in you or, interest, or is interested in your group or, or guys in general. Third one is preening. Preening is something where people do where they're like fiddling around with their, they're adjusting their uh, shirt or whatever or they're, um, maybe they're playing with their hair or they're touching themselves. Preening in nature basically means that they are kind of, they want someone to kind of come up and start grooming them. Um, but in humans, it basically just means like they're, some, they're a little bit shy and nervous and if they're at a social event, it probably means they're nervous because they want someone to come up and talk to them um, and they're alert, a little nervous and shy about it. Number four is their body position is open. If you get a girl, a couple girls that are like huddled over at the bar that are just talking to themselves, that aren't talking to other people and they're only facing each other, they probably don't want to be approached. But if you see some girls that are kind of sitting like me, they're both kind of facing outward a little bit, um, they probably won't be this facing outward this much if they're at the bar, they'll probably be facing each other a little bit more. Um, but if they're doing that, that means they, they're making themselves more available for guys to come up and talk to them or anyone to come up and talk to them. So um, I would look for girls that are like that. If you get the girls that are huddled over, I probably wouldn't even bother them if they're having like some really intense conversation. Uh, almost none of the time that I do it, it ends up working out. But sometimes you misjudge things too. Sometimes you think they're in an intense conversation when they're really not. Um, but I think in general, if you see girls that have their bodies, a their, their, their position where they're standing, where they're sitting, is a little bit more open for people to come up and talk to them, that's a sure sign that they want guys to talk to them. Number five is they're drinking a lot. <laughs> Now, I know this is gonna sound a little not PC and life in general is not PC, but if a girl is going out and she's going to the bar and she's drinking a lot, she's using alcohol as a social lubricant. That's what it is. That's why bars exist in the first place is for different people to come up and meet and talk to each other. And what's the, what's the best way to do it? Well, you have a few drinks, you calm the nerves down a little bit um, and then just, it's a lot easier for a lot of people to do
do it that way. Now, I'm not saying that you should go after girls that are drunk, that are wasted. I'm saying that you should be aware that if girls are doing this, they're probably looking for a guy. Like if I see a girl who's, you know, ordering two vodka Red Bulls at the bar past midnight, um, this girl's trying to party and she's trying to meet people. Like there's just no other way to put it. She knows that she's gonna be a little shy. She wants to be a little bit uh, open. She wants to be a little bit less nervous when people come up and talk to her. That's probably why she's drinking in the first place. Now, don't go after girls that are wasted that's gross um, but you should just be aware of something like that if you see girls that are trying to party they're probably trying to meet guys too all right smiling if a girl's being friendly and she's kind of smiling at everybody and she's being like that then she probably wants a dude to come up and talk to her now this is not a rule that is obeyed a hundred percent most of these aren't myself for instance i don't have a very friendly face i have chronic bitch face if a girl's like me she'll probably want you to come up and talk to her but she's gonna look angry at the beginning and then when you start talking to her then she's gonna be super friendly okay not every girl's like this but a lot of them are um i would just say that if you see a girl who's smiling being pretty friendly then chances are she's gonna be more happy to have another guy come up and talk to her the last one is she's by herself now girls usually almost never go out to drink to the bars by themselves but sometimes they'll be out with friends and their friends will ditch them and they'll still be out if a girl's still out she's usually looking for somebody or like a guy or something like that now I'm not saying that you should go out there um, and look for women that are out there by themselves usually if you see a girl standing by herself she's probably waiting for a friend or a boyfriend or something like that or she's waiting for her uber <laughs> that's another thing um, but if a girl goes out by herself or she stays out intentionally to party to meet people then she's probably looking for a guy now i'm not saying that you should go out there and like specifically prey on women that are by themselves <laughs> okay if a girl's trying to get home or she's in a precarious position usually if a girl's out by herself she is in a precarious position so you got to be wary of that um and if she is just trying to get home or she's just like looking for a friend or something like that just like leave her alone man you don't need to make her situation any worse than it already is having said that most of the girls that i've met that have been out by themselves or have stayed out after their friends have left and we've hooked up that's all i have for you guys um, there's more out there people definitely use uh, that i didn't cover i didn't cover all of them for a reason there's a lot of them out there different people have different preferences different people do different things um, the more you go out the better you're going to be at spotting these signals but these are the main ones that i covered and these are the ones that you should look out for so thanks a lot you guys let me know what you thought about this video and good luck out there